How's it going guys? Anaconda Squeeze here and I'm bringing you guys another PS4 Skyrim Special Edition mod. Uh, this one today is a little different. This is a modded dungeon that's been added to the world here. Uh, it's called the Treacherous Hollows. It's actually a really, really nice dungeon. Uh, lots of loot. Pretty fun here. It's by someone named Malcolm CZ or Z if you're American. Uh, it's 335 kilobytes. It's a fair size, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty extensive dungeon. Uh, it goes on for a bit, has a lot of stuff going on, which I actually am really impressed with. All you do is you come to Helgen, go a little bit southwest, and you'll see here. It's on your map as a point. You can just set a marker here. Jump, you bastard. Yeah, nice little frozen door here. Let's jump right in. Alright, let's, let's get our shit going here. Let's respond to a little room. We'll walk into here. Now we have a nice little... Collapsed hall thing going on. Lots of broken shit. Lots of snow. Now, throughout this whole mod, there are urns thrown about, and like, lot like there's tons of stuff to collect. Like, if you go through this mod, you're gonna be getting lots of gold, lots of jewels, and lots of like books and potions. Like, there's tons of them. There are also tons of enemies, so definitely bring some shit. Um, if you want to be a higher level or have some OP stuff. I'm using just some basic weapons right now to kill these things, but as we get going, I'm going to start switching to OP gear because you don't want to spend, like, forever watching me, like, just hack these fuckers up. So we'll be switching to the big badass swords here in a moment. Yeah, so this is the first main room we come to. We got some potions and books up here. Like, this is just the beginning. Like, I'm not going to be getting everything. I'll show you where all the main chests are, anything hidden, but as far as searching urns and all that, you guys can do that on your own. You got lots of stuff to go through. Little thank you note here by the creator. Let's grab that and get going here. You can search this guy. I think he's got some gold. Oh, and a helmet this time. Look at me. Spoiled. Then we get his battle axe here. Uh, this first part's kind of sneaky if you don't pay attention. There's a little chain right here, which I didn't see the first time, so I came here and turned around all pissed off. Let's walk through here. So, this next part is just kind of a collapsed cave it's actually like it's really pretty looking I like this like it's it's definitely aesthetically pleasing I like having something that's a little different something that you know at least like changes like we're not just continuously walking down the same like broken corridor here which is what I expected when I saw a mod dungeon uh, we go all the way to the end here it's quite a long tunnel watch out for this like every now and then there's one crack that's just a little bit deep and it's just that would be the one that it catches you Let's get to this door, we'll pull our chain. Oh, that doesn't move. Oh no, a bad guy, no! Get the fuck out of here. Look at that idiot, He's shooting the wrong way. He blew his wad too soon. But it's okay, it's not his fault. I'm just too pretty. It's been a long time. Get the fuck out of here. That's a lot of droggers you can search for. Or search through here, like so. You're gonna get tons of stuff through them alone. Not to mention all these urns that are strewn around the place. Uh, so there's nothing really on the right hand side. You want to go to the left first. I like this uh, dungeon because it's kind of like reminds me of the old Tomb Raider, like stuff. Like it's it's very go down one passage to pull a lever that unlocks a different passage. You have to go back, and you're always like you're retracing your steps. And oh, look a secret chest. So we got in here some cool things. Soul gems, ingots, there's more of those, there's a lot, quite a few flawless gems in here. But yeah, lots of stuff to take. Oh, he's so angry. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm wearing my ebony armor again like an idiot, so all this stuff turns black. Butch! We got some more potions here. Just look at this, like, like these things are strewn around all over the place. Soul gems, potions. What is this? Ebony boots. More potions. We got some chests here. Ooh, take all that shit. I want to be a fancy lady. Soul gem, we got soul gem fragments. Actual soul gems. Books. Like some strength. You want to hit this lever here because that's going to open the passage down the other hallway for us. Let's go back here. Yeah, like it's not a bad 
It's definitely not bad. I definitely can see it's. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh my god. So now we're back in the main room. We're going to run the center hall here. This door has opened up. It was previously barred down. Walk down the stairs here. Just always be ready there. Oh, no, there's a door here. Alright, so it leads us to a little bit of a port. See, think, look how cool it is. Like, we were in a hall, then we went down this, like, collapsed little cave. Now we're in, like, an old abandoned port. There's nothing really up here on the sides. I went exploring earlier. Oh, no! Look at it. It's like they all don't... Oh, it's because they can't see me because I'm black. That's why. That's why. Idiots. Hey, you guys. Stop it. Fuck you. Touch my booty hole. Is this the only, like, kill animation we have? Is, like, the leg sweep and then the chop from head? Alright, so there is this little trapdoor here. For whatever reason, if you go in this trapdoor, it will teleport you to the next area, which makes no sense. So we're going to do it the legit way. Now, I did go swimming. Like, this is a quite a deep area here, and there's lots of little crevices. And from what I explored, I didn't see anything, like... There's no chests, there was nothing like cool to loot. So if you want, go swim around, have fun, but I'm not going to do it anymore. Walk down this. So this is going to get us to the same place as that little porthole trapdoor is, but this one's going to take us to the legit spot, whereas that other one was just going to spawn us on that boat. Now once we come through here, if we go to our left, there's a little secret area, which I found because I'm nosy. Like, every game I've ever played has taught me that never stick to the main path. Always kind of look in. If there's something weird on the side, go there kind of thing. We'll find a bunch of coin purses, get a few gold, and then there's a congratulations letter, which isn't too crazy. Just says, yay, you found the secret. Share this thing on Nexus or Steam by typing in, I'm the ultimate player. Which, first of all, great secret sentence. Like, it's astoundingly secret. And, uh, like... Now you guys, if you really, really want, can just go type that shit on there and be like, yeah, no, I totally did it, woo. Alright, let's get to this boat and fuck up whoever's on it. Swim in. That's why I like being Argonian. Because you can swim for forever and never have to worry about a thing. I don't care about breathing. Fuck breathing. Can I get on land, though? Oh no, who would have thought there's more bad guys? There's quite a lot of death lords in this uh, little dungeon here. Like, just, they're all over the place. Ooh, more ebony stuff. I do like how ebony things look. They are pretty cool. Oh no! Actually, you know what? I did not go up there. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's try to get up there. Uh, it kind of just closes off at each end of the tunnel. Like, it looks like there's a cool tunnel to go down. You go down it and it's all like, oh, cool, it curves this way, but it's just a dead end. So, slightly disappointing, but what can you do? Ooh, a rock fall. Rock doesn't actually do anything, it just falls. Fuck you. Fuck you. I wish, I could just, I wish there was a mod where, I don't know, you change the shout to just being like, fuck you. Or something sassy. Like, mm hmm. Oh, if you get like a sassy black woman where like all the shouts change to like different things. I told you. Mm-hmm. Nuh-uh. Just shit like that. I would I would die. Come on, mod devs. Let's go. Do something like that for me. Make me a sassy black lady named Latrice. Or Shaniqua. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Bud. Bud. Alright, we're going to head up these little stairs. Oh, now we're in quite the spooky area. Now this area here has a fuck ton of urns. Urns, urns, urns for days. There's urns everywhere. Now this is kind of a cool area. Because um, you can essentially walk all the way around this area and nothing's going to happen. But when you start walking towards the middle here, you don't even have to like pull this. Last time I was here, I was just by it. Oh, maybe you do have to pull it. Pull this chain to activate the gate at the end here. 
But, uh, where are they? Where are all the baddies? What's going on? I'm feeling betrayed here. Yeah. So when I first came in here, I pulled this little chain. And about, like, 50 Draugr popped up. And they all started trying to, like, fight you. And it's actually a pretty decent, like, battle. Like, there's tons of them. Like, that would... You would definitely do a lot of running around and, like, fucking with stuff. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a glitch in the mod. Uh, it doesn't work now. It worked one time, and then I went back to a save before I even came into it, and everything was good, and it doesn't work now. What the fuck? I essentially reset everything, tried again, and now I'm here again, and this is the second time that it's not working for me. Well, maybe for you, when you get here, some crazy shit's going to happen. Just a ton of Draugr are going to be here. Uh, it sucks, because that was the part I really liked about this thing. So that there was just a ton of them. Like, they just keep appearing. Either way, you're going to pull the lever once you kill all those guys come down here. Tons more urns. A totally not suspicious looking casket thing right here. No, who would have known? Keep going down the hall. Hmm, what is going on? Something's wrong. Something's wrong with this mod guy. Malcolm. Nothing's popping out like it should be. Nothing's coming to scare me. Yeah, fuckers. Alright, well. It was supposed to be three Death Lords. Let's head upstairs. Oh my god, this mod is totally glitching. <sighs> A secret chest here with stuff in it. This is really weird. Yeah, like nothing's coming. It's like all the traps aren't working. This is the second time I've reset this thing. I can't get it to work. Well, here's a free dungeon full of stuff for you guys. More potions in here, spell books, more chests. Look, it just, it always has these goddamn gems. Like, there's gems for days. Come down here, find a bookshelf covered in more stuff. Let's just make sure we take as much as we can. Oh, that lusty Argonian maid. She gets me all hot and bothered. Let's read Fifty Shades of Maid. Yeah, this is weird. There's no spooky scary skeletons coming to try to kill me come to this room here this is a kind of a creepy room all its own ooh bats as I said creepy bats come down look at you creepy bats what's in this urn gold excellent we got some skeletons kind of a weird churchy altar this guy here with a dagger he clearly killed himself ooh I do believe I will take that ebony dagger of devouring Well, I am ever so slightly disappointed in this mod. So, Death Lord's supposed to pop up here and. Ooh, what do we got back here? Lots of fun. Lots of fun for me. Take all that shit. I'm so disappointed, Malcolm. My heart hurts. My heart is sad that your mod did not work twice in a row. Walk down here. Continue on this lovely little path. Oh, what's down here? Oh, what's down here? Cool things. But first, before we get down here, let's double check, make sure we got all the stuff. Just an urn. Stupid urn. Go down this tiny, overgrown pathway. It's very twisty, very turny. What do we got down here? Oh! Now, this dungeon's a little weird. So, it's got. Uh, it's, there's two ways for us to go that essentially lead the same place. So, if we hit this little. Once you come to the sunken urn, take a left, hit that switch, brings us to a little room. Either way, go in this way just because you get this chest. A little bit of fun, a little fun stuff for you here. There's more urns, lots more urns, and then there's a little ladder that takes you up to Skyrim. But don't worry about that one, it's like 10 feet away from the actual entrance, which we get by going this way. Oh, this. He almost made it out and then he drowned. Alright, so you're going to want to swim. Now, it does kind of get 
a little branchy down here, like different paths, but they all just lead back, it just curves around, leads back to the main one. So you might as well just keep going straight. Every now and then you'll find a drogger or an urn on the ground here you can loot. But, uh, we're gonna come up here. Flip the switch. More urns for us, it's just lots and lots of urns. And now we've discovered the exit to that tunnel here, which is right below Bleak Falls. Yeah. So that little trapdoor puts us like right here, like literally, like it's not really worth going through that way. And we don't discover the exit that way. It has a little trapdoor, and the trapdoor is actually quite hidden. It's like buried in grass. Like you can't really see it, even when you like, even when you pop out and look down, it's not even like really there. I wonder if it is like right in front of us here. Oh shit, it's a big scary troll! Fuck you, troll! Alright guys, well, I promised the first time I went through this mod, just to, I go through all the mods right before I show you guys, because when I started my channel, I kind of was just winging it, and it led to me being in the midst of a lot of really crappy mods, where I would just like download it, go through the thing, and it'd be very disappointing, like the castle rift in, like that kind of stuff. Where it was just sad. So now I go through them all just to kind of ensure quality for mods. And I went through this one. It was fantastic. I was like, cool, let's show you guys. And I'm kind of sad now. Kind of sad it didn't work out. Especially when I reset it two times and loaded up a save from even before I started the first mod. So I'm not really sure what its deal is. But I definitely encourage you to try it out because when it starts going here, you're going to get a lot of experience. Uh, it's definitely quite a challenge for you guys here, and plus it lets you test out your OP weapons if you really just want to fuck up a bunch of zombies. Yeah guys, my name is Anaconda Squeeze. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll bring these things to you every single day. Uh, we're going to have more theme days coming up. Don't forget about follower free DOS. Get those follower videos out to you guys on Friday. I've got a couple picked out already that I'm definitely going to show you. And yeah, I'll see you guys fucking later. Bye.